This video will cover the topic, Solving an Exponential Equation by Using Logarithms, Exact Answers in Logarithmic Form. How do we solve an exponential equation by using logarithms? Good question. Before we begin to solve an exponential equation using logarithms, let's go over some logarithmic rules that will be helpful to remember when solving problems of this type. First, it's important to remember how a logarithm can be expressed in exponential form. When b raised to the power of y is equal to x, then the base b logarithm of x is equal to y. It is also important to remember the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. The logarithm product rule says that the base b logarithm of y times x is equal to the base b logarithm of y plus the base b logarithm of x. The logarithm quotient rule says that the base b logarithm of y divided by x is equal to the base b logarithm of y minus the base b logarithm of x. The logarithm power rule says that the base b logarithm of y to the x power is equal to x times the base b logarithm of y. We can use these rules to rewrite exponential equations in different forms that make it easier to solve for unknown variables. Okay, I think I understand this all. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. Here, we have a problem asking us to solve for x in the exponential equation 11 to the 2x power equal to 7 to the x minus 2 power, and asks to write the answer using base 10 logarithms. It's important to note that the base 10 logarithm is just represented by a logarithm with no base written to it. Okay, I see that the x variable is in the exponent on both sides of the equation. How do I get x out of the exponent so that I can solve for it? Good question. Remembering the logarithm power rule, if we take the logarithm of a number that is raised to a power, we can rewrite it as a power multiplied by the logarithm of the number that was raised to the power. So taking the base 10 logarithm of both sides of the equation, we'll get 2x times the base 10 logarithm of 11 equal to x minus 2 times the base 10 logarithm of 7, right? That's exactly right. Now that we have our equation in this form, we must multiply out x minus 2 and the base 10 logarithm of 7. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. Now, we must move all the terms with x in it to one side of the equation. We can factor out x from 2x base 10 logarithm of 11 minus x base 10 logarithm of 7 to get x times 2 base 10 logarithm of 11 minus the base 10 logarithm of 7. We isolate x by dividing both sides of the equation by 2 base 10 logarithm of 11 minus the base 10 logarithm of 7. And we find that x is equal to negative 2 base 10 logarithm of 7 divided by 2 base 10 logarithm of 11 minus the base 10 logarithm of 7. Oh, okay. I think I understand this now. But just to be sure, let me go over what I've learned today. To solve an exponential equation by using logarithms, it's important to remember the way to express a logarithm in exponential form. It's also important to remember the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and logarithm power rule. We can use our knowledge of logarithms to rewrite them in ways that make it easier to solve for the unknown variable. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher now.